are listening to the Think and Grow podcast with Dr. Z and Professor P. We are so excited to bring you episode number one. But before we get into it, we want to tell you all about the different segments we have planned for you guys. Tip Tip of the the day. day. Tip of the day. Mega Mentors. Coach's Corner. Lab Works. Booking it and rising stars. So Professor P, what is our tip of the day? Day, Tip tip of the the day. day. Guys and gals, our tip of the day is get out of there. What does that mean? Get out of there means get out of your comfort zone, (laughs) right? So we're going to tell you a few stories about how we met and Within those stories, you're going to see some spots where we were totally getting outside of our comfort zone. Talking outside of our comfort zone. So those of you who know me, I'm Dr. Z. I'm actually an MD, medical doctor, forensic pathologist. And I had read the book, Think and Grow Rich, way back when, and I always wanted to get into real estate investing. Well, obviously, as a doctor, I didn't have any background in it. So I decided, let me join some of these real estate groups that, that are around town. And at that time, it was the, called The Ring, the Real Estate Investors Networking Group. And it's since kind of morphed, turned into the Milwaukee RIA. And so I started to go to the Milwaukee RIA. I was really shy, so I really didn't talk to anybody. But there was a certain guy there. And what would he do? Hey, Lucky, how's it going? <laughs> he would just saunter, saunter by and call me Lucky. And walk away, guys, because where was I? Outside of my comfort zone, right? So we were both outside of our comfort zone. So he did that a couple, two, three times. And finally, I was like, why do you keep calling me Lucky? Because you keep winning, guys. And gals, they had this raffle that they would run. They give away books or membership stuff or whatever. And I'm like, oh my God, she won again. So early on, when I was first starting out and learning how to network, I'm like thinking in terms of what is it that I can say to someone? And in Zelda's case, it was, okay, I'll just throw out this Hey, Lucky, how's it going? It'll pique her curiosity and maybe eventually she'll want to talk to me. <laughs> so the funny thing was this that went on for a little bit and didn't think much about it. But then there was this um, speaker that came. They would have speakers for the RIA and he was giving a workshop in Madison. And so right away, I was like, I'm going to go to that workshop. I was looking forward to it. I was excited about it. And in one of the sessions during the workshop, he was, we could kind of share about some of the things that we're going through, issues that we're having with our rentals. I had rental properties at the time. And so he was giving us some feedback and somebody was also offering tips, advice about my issues with the rental properties. So during the break, I went over and I sat next to this guy and I was like, tell me more about whatever it was that we were talking about. And as we were talking, we found out both of us had self-directed IRAs. What does that mean? (laughs) So the self-directed IRA is, it's an IRA, individual retirement account, but it's self-directed. So you can basically designate where you want to utilize those funds. And so both of us were utilizing them to invest in real estate. And since Patrick had gone through this um, part of the program that they offered was house flipping and I had rentals, I had just gotten a little house and I was like, hmm, I was thinking about maybe flipping this house. And I approached Patrick and I said, maybe you might like to use your self-directed IRA to help me as I do the the flip on my house. And so Patrick agreed to come by and take a look at the house. Yeah, sure. I'll come by and take a look at your project. (laughs) When do you want to do it? 
So we went over, looked at her house a couple days later after we got back from the event and we're looking at it and I'm looking around. I'm like, oh my God, let's see, there's no garage. It's on, uh, there's no driveway. <laughs> it's right next to the on-ramp to where the freeway starts in our town. I'm like, oh boy, this isn't going well. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> so we go inside and I'm looking around like, oh my God, this kitchen is tiny. Uh oh. So then, long story short, she's like, Well, what do you think? I said, Well, in my mind, I was thinking, Wow, rule breaker, rule breaker, rule breaker. <laughs> like, well, you know, there's this, there's that, and that. And, well, do you think you want to let, loan me some money on this? I'm like, uh, No, sorry, can't, can't do it. He said, I'd broken <laughs> all the rules and that. This little house of mine would not work well as a flip property. It'd probably do best as a rental. And what did I say? Tell me you didn't buy this house. No. I had already, I already bought it. Got into it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was under contract. Maybe I could have gotten out of it, but I just added it to my rental portfolio. So it wasn't the end of the world. But I didn't flip it right away. I did eventually sell it, but I sold it to another investor who's also using it as a rental. <laughs> so it ended out ended up being, you know, all's well ends well. Right. It right. wasn't a major catastrophe, disaster. Yeah. You ended up making a few bucks off the deal and learned a ton. Learned right? a ton. And in the meantime, was constantly in and out of your comfort zone by having to re get the place remodeled, rent ready, and all the different things that you need to do when you first start out in real estate. So real estate. So it was an excellent learning experience for you. Yeah. yeah. Even wow. though. So there's typically no bad situations. We always say, oh, I'm a failure. I failed at this. No, you failed at an event. You're not a failure, right? What is that saying? They, they say the person who um, has money looking is looking for an experience and the person with experience usually ends up with the money yeah or something yeah, like that yeah. <laughs> so he had the 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 experience and then i got the experience too <laughs> so then what happened so then he got his house with his experience and guess who ended up investing in his house <laughs> not that one but <laughs> So tell him about, so then he finally got his, a, a house. Yeah. So a couple of months later, I ended up getting my first house to flip. And I was going through the coaching pro program with Eric and Brian. I need a drink of water here. <laughs> got a frog in my throat. Okay. That's better. And by that time, it was several months later and I had really immersed myself in this whole program. And I really took everything to heart and learned as much as I could from those guys. So I said, Hey, Zelda, you want to come over and take a look at my house? I mean, you know, I'm working on it and you can kind of see what I'm doing and, you know, get a better idea. And so she came over, she's like, wow, this looks really good. <laughs> and, you know, but I had learned, I had gone through their program and they taught me a ton of things and I was like a, a sponge. Right. So I learned all this different stuff and I applied it. And it all worked out well. I eventually, you know, sold that house and got another one, got another one. And, you know, the rest is history. But with all of that said, I mean, it sounds, oh, my, you know, that sounds really good. But I was talking, getting back to talking about being outside your comfort zone. There were many times, guys and gals, that I was outside of my comfort zone. There was a lot of anxious moments, a lot of unknown fears. But I powered through it and it ended out, you know, ended up finishing up good. We made some money and went out, went out and got another one. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And just through talking to, to Patrick, learning about what he was doing, him learning about what I was doing. And in the process, I ended up with a wife. <laughs> <laughs> Double bonus. 
You might end up with a house and you might end up with a spouse. You just never know. <laughs> but you won't know until you step out of that comfort zone. <laughs> so the huge lesson, I thought this came from Think and Grow Rich, but it's actually in, I believe it's the Dale Carnegie, How to Stop Worrying and Start Living book. It's not the quote verbatim, but take action lest you wither in despair. If you're sitting there mulling things, you're going to drive yourself crazy. So get out there, take action, and everything you do, you're going to learn something, good, bad, or indifferent. You're going to learn something. Absolutely. And get to where it is you want to go. Yeah, yeah. And that's one of the main underlying themes, too, of the book, Think and Grow Rich, which inspired this podcast. That's right. So that's the show for today. Yeah. Thank you for watching. And we look forward to seeing you next week on our on our next episode. Awesome. As All right. Always. Thank, thank you, you in advance. advance. Thinking and growing and learning and knowing and thinking and growing and learning and knowing, yeah. Just thinking and growing and learning and knowing and thinking and growing and learning and knowing, yeah. Yeah, with thinking. And growing, and learning, and knowing, and thinking, and growing, and learning, and knowing, yeah. With thinking, and growing, and learning, and knowing, and thinking, and growing, and learning, and knowing, yeah. With thinking, and growing. And learning, and knowing, and thinking, and growing, and learning, and knowing.